guys, and welcome to another ranked gameplay video in which we check out some new decks, some more decks, build our own decks, and the like, and get to legend as the plan. So, um, yeah, I've actually been trying out some other decks, you know, made some of my own decks or whatever, made some sh shaman deck, messed with the row deck a bit more, changed the spare parts a bit, you know, um, and from there, you know, I've also, um, tried a little bit of seeing what other people are using in their decks and whatnot. What seems like, you know, pro players or whatever are using and why. You know, see if I can change my opinion on some cards or whatever, or synergies that I might not have realized, for example. So I was comparing uh, my spare parts deck to uh, Chow's uh, mage deck. Um, some interesting things to note there. And I actually checked out uh, Trump's upgrades, or quartermaster, or get quartered, or whatever he called it, um, deck, where basically it's the synergy between muster for battle and quartermaster, which is the main sort of idea, with some good synergies. Now, there are some things that I need to mention right now that, you know, there are some slight differences between my my deck and his deck. One of the main ones would be that I have a Sword of Justice, and, uh, yeah, there's this, this fellow, right? It's a new legendary, Paladin legendary. It's called, uh, it's called Bolvar, and I don't actually have him yet. As you can see, I nearly have enough dust, but I'm not sure whether I want to spend all that dust on specifically Bolvar. I'm not sure yet, but he would be in the deck, and that sort of justice would not. But fortunately, it does synergize well with the fact that I'm playing lots of minions in general and buffing. It's always a strong card, and the one damage is useful. The issue is just muster for battle also gives you a weapon, so it's a bit weird. But here's something really cool. Um, if you play muster for battle when you have a Sword of Justice. I believe I saw this effect happen. You have to correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it works like this. Um, you summon three 1-1s, and then you get a weapon. So if you have three charges of Sword of Justice and you play Muster for Battle, you will use your three charges of your Sword of Justice, Sword of Justice will pass, and then Muster for Battle will equip the weapon, which is really, really good that they've done that, you know, so it doesn't like go, oh, I'm my weapon's overwriting Sword of Justice and there's no buffs, you know, that would be terrible. So yeah, it's a good synergy there. You've got the usual quality Consecrate stuff, Sludge Belch just can you know, it's basically just a control paladin with strong late game. So let's have a look at it. I've been actually using it to rank up recently, and as you can see, I'm no longer ranked 17. Ugh. I'm ranked 10, uh, which is good, I guess. I mean, it's not amazing, is it? It's ranked 10, but being that I've only been doing it for four days, and I've got from 25 to rank 10 in like, well, I guess around two days of playtime, since I'm not playing constantly during those four days, about two days full of playtime, like, you know, playing a little bit, or rather a normal amount, I guess, through two days. Um, I'm happy to have made it to rank 10, and it's now time for us to push on through to rank 5. That is our plan, our goal, at which point we will no longer get <laughs> win streak. Oh, God. And, uh, yeah, we'll be taking it super serious from then. Um, yeah, it'll be super try-hard mode. I'll be I'll be going with the best decks. There won't be any silly combos at that point. It'll just be all, like, legit decks that I would uh, be using myself to try to get Legend, and probably even in Legend. Also, what is with this queue? I can't cancel it, and it's not finishing. Okay, that was pretty weird. That was pretty weird. Okay, right. Uh, muster for battle early isn't that bad. Not amazing, but it's not that bad. Okay, double muster for battle. This could be good, actually. I mean, if I was going second, maybe even better, because, you know, you know, calling it out and stuff. Uh, having the heal bot early is... Ugh, but um, it'll do. You know, this is actually a really interesting card, because obviously it does a big heal. It costs five mana, so it's a free free, which is obviously bad, right? That's bad. But the thing is, you have these things, um, trans... Those, this card's called Transfer Moggers or something like that. They're a free two dwarf that costs a, slight, a fair amount of mana, I think, for what it was. And, um... Yeah, basically, it, it transforms... Oh, this is a pretty good turn, actually. Um... It transforms a minion into any other minion of equal value of that mana. So, look at this. You play it, you get an 8 mana heal. Quite big, right? Hey, I swear I pressed enter. Um, yeah, you get quite a big heal, but it's a free free, ultimately, for 5 mana. That's really bad. You then use this transmog guy, I'm gonna call him that, um, and he turns him into a, a different 5 mana value. Uh, creature. Let's talk Sludge Belcher, for example. Turns him into a Sludge Belcher, and uh, yeah, you got insane value with eight mana heal and then a Sludge Belcher. You know, these are combos that are good. Think of the Mad Bomber or the Middle Bomber. I can't remember his actual name. The New Bomber, I guess, the best way to say it. In which, uh, yeah, he he actually will do something amazing 
and do four damage to an enemy hero, but then is a free free for five mana, similar style, you know, you transmog him, I'm gonna call it that, into uh, another five mana minion, and you could get something amazing. So, really cool to think about that, and a cool new card. Wow, he really went for that with the Frostbolt. Oh! Oh my god, I got the same card back pretty much. Well, not the same card, but... Wow, okay, there goes both Frostbolts and a coin. Why did he coin for that? Um, did he not realize that he had four mana? He had no reason to coin there. Don't know why he did that. Uh, okay, um, could fill the board with one ones here. You know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're gonna refill our weapon, and look at that. Now, if we get the Quartermaster, I would say this game is won. We have six 1-1s here, which would be six free frees if we top deck a Quartermaster here. That would be game over, we would win there and then. It would happen, you know? Because it's how much damage? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 19. Obviously, it's not insta-kill there, but I mean, like, it would it would settle the game. The game would be over. Quartermaster, go. Oh. Oh. Still a good still a good card. Um, I think it's an equality turn, honestly. I mean, it doesn't have to be an equality. I could spawn one of these guys and, uh, yeah... And then consecrate, maybe. I don't know. It's no. There's no reason to. No reason to save it. No reason to save it. Let's just quality. There we go. For justice, the battle. I'm just gonna keep the one ones going. I don't need the taunt right now. It's because I'm. What we're, basically what I'm expecting is an AOE. You know, a flame strike, a uh, blizzard. Fuck, an arcane explosion right now would ruin me, so I'm afraid to sort of overplay. Really, we played two monster for battles and just a bunch of recruits and we started hitting him with our weapon. Right now, we've barely played anything, so if we do get a Quartermaster at any point, game o game over for him. Okay, so he's giving us another turn here to maybe get a Quartermaster. Thank you very much, sir. Let's see what happens. Oh, yes. Ye yes. 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 Alright. Okay. Um. <laughs> and that's why this deck's amazing. Alright, I'm sorry. This is why it is... The combo right there, on its own, is ridiculous. You can see the power of that. You, you just can. You just can. It's so fucking good. It's so fun. It's so fun to pull that off. And the actual animation when all the swords pop up, I just hit fucking six recruits with that. It's great when you hit only two. You hit six, it's game over, you won. Amazing. Even if he somehow clears us, we just have the Sneed Shredder to follow up. We're pretty good. I think he's mad. I think he just killed that guy. Understandable. Yeah, I, I say I've won that one. Let's just, let's go to another game. All right, here we are in the second game. Absolute domination there in that last game. Fucking... That was ridiculous. So we got a hunter here, and I've had some I had some bad experiences with the hunter in the past. Um I I once had a guy who killed me on turn four, you know, the face hunters. When they play the Lepanome on turn one, it's like your instant reaction is just to go uh, You know, just fuck fuck those guys, alright? If you play a face hunter, you it's not much skill in that deck, alright? That's pretty strong. I would actually like my um my two free taunt that gets buffed by death rattles here. If I coin to free, it's gonna do nothing. So this is a pretty rough start. You know, you compare it to my last game. You compare it to my last game, and it's like, you know, we had a interesting start and then domination. This one is a really bad start. Like, I have both of the consecrates in my hand, which is something you kinda wanna draw into about midway through the game on turn four and five. Um, I have both of them in the opening hand, which is not good. It's not good. Fortunately. We should be okay here. If he doesn't trade. If he does trade, then it's awful. And he did. So, we're, we're fucked. <laughs> oh my god, this sucks. Alright, so. What choice do I have? I gotta play this. You know, if I was to consecrate here, it was bad. Basically, my plan or play there was to uh, coin and consecrate. Send the 1-1 into the now 2-1 undead guy. And, uh, well, do do the send, send the 1-1 in first before the, the secret activates. Um, and then that would have cleared the board and he would have a, he would have had a secret, which would have been fine for him and it would have been ugh for me, but it would have been a better situation than it is right now, let's be real. So, 
Wow, he's honestly getting rid of his weapon. He must have another one, like, in his inventory. So I assume this is just another face hunter then, which is uh, going to be interesting. You know, the last one destroyed me, like I said. Uh, so that's a concern. I could get the kill with the Consecrate if I do this. If it's got two health, please have two health. All right. Wow, that was pretty good. It actually does even more damage. Cool. That's fine. That's fine. Does more damage. Puts the, that puts that guy to one health. And now it's sort of a fight back for control. We have the heal. We have the taunt. We have the, 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 the even later taunt. If we can survive that long, we should be good. We can hard removal him on turn six as well. So turn five, turn six, you know, try and hang on as long as possible. This heal is big. It's going to be helpful as well. It's why there's just one in the deck. Oh boy. Don't trade. All right, good. Um, that must be a freezing trap then, yes? Which is real bad news for me, to say the least. It must be a freezing trap. I, wonder. I guess there's nothing we can do about it right now. We can just play this. Let's see. Wow, it wasn't a freezing trap. That really... That really sucks. We lost uh, one damage that we could have done to him there. But it's only one damage, I guess. In the end, um, he would he himself would be on one, one less health. And nothing would have changed with the trade. So that's fine, I guess. But maybe it's a, a snake trap, do you think? But then that would have been really bad with the abomination play. Oh, fuck this guy. Man, face hunters. I'm sorry. You suck. Okay, uh, this is four damage. It would save me. I guess I just gotta do it and hope for the best. It's eight heal. It's a big heal. I'm just real low. I'm just real low. I guess the weakness of this deck must be face hunters because I've seen another face hunter and it's just been real rough, you know? Look at this shit. They just don't do anything but go for your face. It's, it's just so... It's lame, alright? I'm sorry, it's lame. I guess I could understand it if you're desperately trying to get, like, Legend and you're like, I don't know, rank 5 and above. But even then, man. Even then. So, is that Freezing Trap? If so, I'm actually happy. Because I can just get another heal. Let's find out together. The answer is, of course... Yes, this is. So I can just get another heal here, which is not going to do much for me, to be honest. It's six, it's uh, oof, it's eight. I mean, it would save me. So does this. Or so it looks, anyway. I mean, I can't just sit there and heal all day and do nothing, can I? Um, I'll try and get the heal off when I can, but mostly it's going to be down to taunts and trying to survive as long as, it, as, long as we can. We do have the... Um, Layer hands, which is a big eight heal as well. So we'll see what we can do, but that might be the second freezing trap, to be honest. So I can't actually attack. And if he doesn't attack, it blatantly means it's that uh, he's trying to he's trying to attack me and not <laughs> and not the taunt. I I'm, I'm sure he knows. Yeah, okay, so it's a freezing trap. No doubt in my mind that's a freezing trap. Um, Makes me think maybe an explosive shots, uh, explosive traps there, and a quality here would be devastating for me if there's an explosive. Hmm. I guess I got really no option but to attack and then heal. Uh, doesn't really matter which one that I attack. There's the freezing trap, so we played around the freezing trap. That's great news. And it might be an explosive. We'll just play this. Alright, back up to 15 health. We have a taunt up, and we're not going to attack, because what we're specifically doing right now is trying to stall as long as possible. So we managed to get back up. We've been doing 16. 16 health of healing. Oh, that's really unfortunate that we get a charge there. Um, I suppose 
Leoc would have been amazing for him as well, because it would have been a good attack buff. So, either way, that card was going to work out for him. Worst case scenario, he got a 4 4 taunt, but even then, he gets a 4 4 taunt, so he's happy. And now he can get through everything and get away with it pretty much scot free. So, I can trade and kill, I can trade and kill, which is good. I can lower the damage that does. Alright, we should should be okay. Really depends on what that trap is. Is it an explosive? Lay your hands. I guess we're going to find out. Because I have to lay our hands here, I think. I guess i got to give him the heal. Really doesn't matter which way I do this. Okay, I'm not sure what that card is. Now the question is, do I forge ring or heal? If I forge ring, I make an impact on the board and I protect myself. And he's only got one card. There's no way he could kill me. I'm pretty fucking sure on that one. I'm pretty sure. The follow up turn is definitely going to be the heal. Alright, good, good. Definitely healing here and hitting him in the face for six. And I definitely, I really want to silence that actually, but no, there's no reason to risk it. Okay, that's great. Let's wait, to see what we get. Muscle for battle's great. Since we've seen this explosive trap, right? <laughs> there goes the divine shields. Okay. Alright, so it was. Um, I, I was thinking we've seen that it's traded. We've seen that we've traded and it's safe. And maybe I should trade. But I kind of want to save the Divine Shield. And then it occurred to me, just as I attacked. Wait, what, what if it's an explosive trap? Yeah, mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Oh, that's a real shame. For me, anyway. Right, we should be okay. Nope. Okay. We got the silence for that. We should be okay. What's the for battle? Great, okay. Um... We got the quartermaster play, so boom, boom. It leaves me with a little bit of mana, not much, but a little bit. I'd love to silence that, pretty much. Mm. So I can't do, I can't do the quartermaster play, but I can do muster for battle. Your magic shall not save you. I'll just trade here, get rid of that, and we shall. Like this, and get this out of our hand. No, no, we should definitely fill the board. If we're going to Quartermaster, we should fill the board now. Which means we'll go face. So it was honestly pretty worthless to uh, to slow him down like that by using the Aldar Peacekeeper, being that this is on one health. But mostly it's just because I'm scared they find another way to get through the taunt and just do free damage. I'm just being overly cautious right now, to be perfectly frank with you, I guess. Ah, there we go. I uh, was just going to Quartermaster and was going to muster for battle. We played really careful there. We played really safe. And we ended up winning and fucking up that face on her. Yes. That feels good because, honestly, I really don't like people who play face hunters. I don't like face hunters. All right, I'm sorry. I'm saying it now. It's not that interesting to watch, to play as, to play against. You know, it's just... It's just dumb deck, okay? All right, we've got a good final opponent here. With the uh, enemy paladin, the mirror matchup. So let's get rid of everything here. Um, the reason I get rid of the true silver champion mostly is because although it's a good turn four, we do want some earlier stuff if we can get it. And we barely, barely did. But we did. Um, on top of the fact that, you know, I have a lot of weapons in the deck. I'm looking for other things. Well, shit. If we could get, a, if we could get the uh, muster for battle, that would be great. That would be wonderful. Reporting for duty. Okay, that's a fine turn uh, two for him there. Works out well for me. We'll just clear that out. We'll just coin and, and peacekeeper it, yeah? No. No, shockingly no. But holy shit, dude, the amount of healing I did in that last game. Let's, let's think about it. It was eight, then eight, so 16, then eight. Wow, I did 24 hit points of healing. I bet he was a little bit upset about that. And understandably so. I could actually save this if I play this. Um... But I'm not going to. I think our play is fine and we want to save that for something actually scary. And he's not even going to get a heal from that, being that he's already on full health. So he did his job 
He did his job. We played him and he traded twice, was it? Yeah, he killed a 1-1 one, one and he killed the mini-bot pretty much. Yeah, that's why we're clearing the 1-1s. One, that is exactly why. I'd love my own muster for battle right now, to be perfectly honest with you. Coin up to 5 does nothing right now. Um, and I can't really play this, so I just gotta... I just gotta sort of awkwardly hero power and try and clear his 1-1s. It's even more important now with this deck in existence, based solely on this card, that you kill 1-1s. Exactly. If I had not killed... If I had not killed that 1-1, he would have another free free right now. And irrelevant, it's still pretty scary what's happening. There's my muster for battle. Obviously, he's gonna just clear me if I play it, which sucks. So we just kind of hang on here, you know, try and stall a bit uh, until we can get our own muster for battle off. But we have the combo, we have the coin still, bear in mind, we can do it on turn 7. We can do the combo on turn 7. Where's that going to go? Face? No, obviously, go for the free free. Okay. Alright, we can maybe get back into this game. It's going to be a struggle. Our own true, true silver champion's a little bit late there. Fortunately, we do have the Windrunner to try and just steal something at some point. It kills pretty much everything he's got. If he starts just going face, I'm going to be scared because he could get a second Quartermaster at some point. Uh, that's going to be a 1-1 stomper, isn't it? Poor Sylvanas. All right, I'm real low, though. I'm looking for a Consecrate, pretty much. That will put me back in this game in a big way. No Quartermaster. I got a Quartermaster. And I can do my own now, but is it too late? If he has a Quartermaster, yes. That is four. That is uh, six, seven, eight. Oh dear. Nine, twelve, fifteen. I'm on fifteen health, so I would die if I do that. Let me Just straight up dead. I think my choice is obvious. I need to fill the board. I need to remove more of his things as much as possible, in fact. And there we go. So, yeah, pretty much we we gained health, so we're out of kill shot range. We removed some of his threats in case he got a, another Quartermaster. There's the Consecrate that I would have loved. Now I can steal something of his, which is good, because I can only steal something useful. Reporting for duty. Apart from that, which is bad but I can get rid of that. And now we have a taunt to slow him down. Or a heal. It's going to be a taunt. Put your faith in the light. Let Let's see what we get. Hopefully it's the free free. It was a 2-5. That's fine as well. Obviously the worst one for me to get there would be the free one as I just weakened it. But this is good. This slows him down. This should buy us a little bit more time. We have the big heal. Again, just trying to hang on. And if I can, at some point, fill the board with some Ruby forces and then get a Quartermaster. Well, that sucks. Fortunately, I should still be alive. I've got a big weapon now, and he's sort of waiting around to uh, make use of everything he has. Shit. Oh, dear. If he kills the 2-1, I'll be happy, I guess. Yeah, okay. Question is, do I risk it? Hit the 5-5. Five five. Go down to 6 health and not heal. And play, like, Sneeds. What can he do? What can he rush me with, really? Not much. Let's do it. Because then I can get the heal off. And then I've got this big enemy in play. I did it wrong. Oops. Oh my god, that's so embarrassing. Oh my god. He's won. He's won. Okay, so basically, self. Um, you have not played Hearthstone properly in over two and a half months. You are now garbage. And, uh, yeah, you should feel bad. So, we, we got two wins that were hard-earned. And then one where we could have won. Who knows? And I just decided to give him Sneed's old shredder. So, fuck, man. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so, like, embarrassed by that. You know, we all do stupid shit like that. Um, every now and then. Rarely. Every now and then. It does happen. We make these mistakes. We don't think something through and we just do it. And it backfires. And unfortunately for me... I upload it to the internet, <laughs> so please bear that in mind before you destroy me with your comments. Otherwise guys, um, really cool deck, give it a like if you enjoyed the video nonetheless.
despite me being an idiot and maybe having a chance to win that game and throwing it fully away. Um, but yeah, hopefully uh, it works out for you if you give it a shot. Definitely thinking about getting the ball VAR. Do you think I should craft it? Do you think I should craft it? I'll just put up the deck so you can see it while we're like ending here. Um, do you think I should craft ball VAR? Are there any changes you would make to this deck? I definitely want to get rid of the Sword of the Justice. Sword of Justice. It's just, it's a good card. I like the card. It's just the problem with it is I have True Silver Champions. I have Mustafer Battle, which is giving me a weapon. And I technically also have the um, weapon coming from Tyrion. Just a bit too much, you know? What would you put in? What would you remove, if anything? Otherwise, guys, thanks so much for watching. I've been Hollow. You've been you. And I'm going to stop embarrassing myself now and stop recording. I'll see you next time.